Hi everybody, it's Rob here, Super Rev Rob, back from the bushcraft show. I want to get this video earlier, but uh, I was waiting on something to come in the post. It hasn't arrived yet, so I'll do a separate video once that arrives. So, what you see on the table is uh, more or less <clears throat> everything that I got from the bushcraft show. Um, bar a few items. Let's see, the... Uh, Some of the items that I got this week, but not from the Bushcraft Show, were the Tech Wash and the Direct Wash. Uh, very much needed uh, as a result of all of the rain. Um, all of my waterproofs uh, stayed reasonably waterproof. However, yeah, they kind of started leaking towards the end of it with the, uh, the Derbyshire monsoons that we had. So those were additions early, later this week. The other item that I received this week, I ordered this during the weekend, was, uh, hopefully you can see that without too much glare, it's When All Hell Breaks Loose by Cody Lundin. He was uh, one of the speakers at, um, at the Bushcraft show this year and uh, got to watch him speak in the big tent a very frank sort of chap, doesn't really hold back, and um, speaks in common man's tongue, I suppose you will. Um, none of these fancy buzzwords and uh, and stuff like that you're used to hearing from some people. It's actually quite refreshing listening to him talk. There was a lot of uneasy faces around the room um, as he was talking, and I think actually that's part of um, part of how he operates. Uh, I, I think he uh, he wants to tell you the truth. And um, he doesn't sugarcoat it or um, or dumb it down at all. He uh, he tells it exactly as it is, and um, it's up to you to uh, to deal with the truth. And I think that's pretty good. There's far too many people out uh, teaching things or talking to people about things that, um, well, frankly, it's bullshit. They um, they candy coat everything and make it sound better than it is when it really isn't. So, hats off to uh, to Cody for. Um, for speaking his mind in the way that he does. I, uh, I'd love to be able to take some of his courses, but, um, well, <laughs> they're not very cheap, I'm afraid. Right, so what else? Um, as part of the uh, entry, uh, we were given some tokens that we could use for different things. Um, I didn't do any of the little mini courses that they had set up uh, and available, but um, this is probably not focusing here. Let's see. Yeah. So these are uh, special commemorative, uh, commemorative I suppose, <laughs> branded uh, sporks. They're actually light my fire sporks. And uh, as you can see, I, uh, I've got four of these now. Um, very nice little uh, little utensils. They come in handy. They're nice and flexible. You can uh, do pretty much anything with them. I like them to be a bit longer. That's my only complaint with the light my fire ones. I think they're a bit short. If you're trying to use them in a um, bowl in the bag or a ready meal type thing, they um, they are pretty short. They're not great for that. But anyways, uh, some there for the kids as well. Um, let's see what else. Uh, I found a. Uh, Really good deal on these uh, Mora Companions. Um, so I picked up two of them. I think it was uh, two for 23 pounds what I ended up paying uh, on the last day. So uh, yeah, not sure exactly what I'll do with two, but um, well, you never can have too many knives, can you really? I'm pretty sure no one will argue with that. And uh, they are quite handy. They're nice and sharp, actually. At least I find them. Um, Right, this is going to be my new sort of just a day trip carry bag. It is, and I'll read it, Haversack Respirator DPM IRR 2004. There's a NATO number, PM if you really need to have it. But uh, plenty of pockets, uh, a couple of pouches in here for holding uh, cups and the like. Um, nice little pocket in here that uh, Velcro's closed. You've got some elasticated straps on the roof, on, on the lid there. You could uh, 
I suppose put like a canteen cup or something. And a couple of little pockets. I'm not actually sure what this little one's for. It's kind of useless. Uh, this pocket is uh, is a good size. I keep uh, some cordage in there along with my um, uh, tree suspension system for the rucksack and whatnot. Straps onto a belt. Uses a um, two inch belt and also the uh, the strap. Uh, I'll show you what I'll oops, show you what I plan to do with it afterwards. Um, this is something new for me. It's a fire piston. I've had a play with it. It um, certainly is not as easy as the uh, the bloke made it out to look at uh, from bushcrafttools.com. I uh, probably can't see that. I'll put links for uh, for this stuff. Um, the DPM bag, by the way, came from Military Mart uh, at the uh, the low price of four pounds. So I couldn't really argue with it. Um, and this fire piston, um, it's quite clever, <coughs> excuse me, in one end of the fire piston they've got some uh, uh, lubricant, I think it's just Vaseline, you can use silicon uh, lubricant um, when you're operating it, so that's in one end, they've got a decent amount of char cloth uh, crammed into this other end, and I think I've tightened it down, so I don't know if I'll be able to get it out. Oh, yes, I can. And if that fails, they give you a ferro rod uh, included with it. So, uh, with some luck, you'll have surefire one way or the other with it. You don't get half dirty, I'll tell you, playing with it. Um, I've yet to get a, I've yet to get a, a an ember from the fire piston itself, but I will uh, keep trying. It is a um, one of those things you need to practice, practice, practice. So I shall uh, continue doing exactly that. Bought this dangler for my knife, my other bushcraft knife. Uh, however, my sheath on it is a little bit too wide for this, so I'll need to modify the sheath before I can use this. I think that was like uh, two pounds or something like that. Um, let's see. <clears throat> a couple little pouches. I think these were. 250 for the pair of them or something. Uh, a little two inch belt. This will go on this belt, which uh, is uh, buffalo hide. Two inch, uh, or not quite two inch, nearly. Uh, buffalo hide belt. Um, had the gentleman cut it long enough that um, that I can either wear it over clothing as like a sort of tool belt, or um, actually wear it through belt loops uh, as a normal belt. So he's put uh, heaps of holes in it for me, so I can use it either way. This little box, it's a watertight clip lid type thing. A uh, bit of an O-ring in there. Um, probably use this for, uh, wind up using it for a tinder box or just uh, something to keep dry. Uh, anything I need to keep dry, keep it in here. Pretty self-explanatory. Okay, oh and uh, yes, yeah, so let's see if we can focus this in. Nope. This is a uh, Help for Heroes, they had a stand there with heaps and heaps of donated prizes for a raffle that they were holding on Monday. I couldn't stick around for the raffle because they kept pushing the time out farther and farther uh, and I needed to get going. But I got a very uh, pleasant call on my way home that I had received a prize. Um, I was aware of a few prizes that were on the table. Um, Quite a few fire steels, uh, tools of sorts. Um, there was a very nice walking stick um, that uh, was really impressive. Um, there's probably pictures around on the net of, of the stuff. However, the prize that I won, I wasn't aware of. And it sounds like an absolute cracking prize, but I'm not going to let out on it right now. Uh, I want to wait till it arrives in the post and then I will uh, do a little video. Um, had a little Google about, and if it's the item that I found, it's uh, it's worth a couple of hundred quid. Um, it's uh, it's going to be uh, good fun, I think. And the last item here <clears throat> is this fire steel, with um, I believe I was told this was reindeer antler, and this was given to me, gifted to me by the 
absolutely fabulous Scott from Wessex Blades. He was sharing uh, our little uh, our camp. We were sort of all camped together under uh, a parachute that um, Z Outdoors had brought along. So absolutely uh, beautiful little uh, fire steel. So a few shout outs. Let's see, we've got uh, Z Outdoors of course. Absolutely uh, cracking bloke he is. James Hunterian, 1986. He was also in the uh, in the little camp with uh, with the rest of us. Scott from Wessex Blades. Rick Big Dog Bushcraft. Funny as hell he is. Um, Rich and I don't know whether he's got a YouTube channel, but I will find and I'll put links for uh, for all these guys in um, in the description box uh, when the video posts. And uh, last but not least, Steve, Sparky Steve, absolutely top bloke he is. Um, all the respect to uh, to Steve. He's uh, he's an absolute engineering genius. He uh, seems to be able to make just about anything out of anything. Uh, a definite problem solver that boy is. I'll tell you. And uh, I can't even begin to tell you all the people that I met from YouTube. It was uh, it's an endless list. If you've seen other videos from the Bushcraft Show, you've heard people say exactly the same thing. There are far too many. But a couple of people, Forrest Prepper, absolute top bloke he is. Thanks for the beers, mate. It was lovely sitting there around your uh, around your fire, um, having beers and uh, and shooting the shit with you and uh, and the other guys that were there as well. Uh, Michael, the bearded clam. I'll tell you what, there's probably no one across the crowd that you wouldn't spot first out of him. <laughs> He's a stand up and a stand out kind of guy. And um, one of the interesting guys was uh, was Maddie. I'm not going to try to destroy his last name. He's Dutch. Absolutely top bloke. He came over. He was one of the staff, volunteer staff at the Bushcraft Show. Um, he had the uh, probably a slightly unpleasant job of uh, having to handle all the cars. He was one of the uh, car parking type uh, guys. And uh, I cannot imagine it was an easy task with all the mud and the rain that we had. It was days and days of rain. And... Uh, an impressive amount of mud to say the least. Right, well that uh, pretty much wraps this up. It's a little bit longer than I wanted, but uh, hey-ho. It uh, Just a quick uh, mention of all the uh, the bits and bobs that I picked up at the, uh, the Bushcraft Show. I've got some more stuff coming as a result of the Bushcraft Show, and I'll do another video on that once it actually arrives. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you didn't get to see my smiling face this time, maybe one of these videos you will. Um, right, we'll uh, we'll catch you guys in the next video. Cheers.